I had this in last year's winter collection. creator of the eighth salt it is my handmade small business where I sell scrunchies and hair claws so today's video will be a studio vlog of us making our winter scrunchie range it is winter here where I am in Sydney Australia so I have already made our autumn collection which we will be sorting through and seeing what stock we still have and creating a list of what we need to make we will also be going through our winter fabrics and selecting which ones we want to be turning into scrunchies as a lot of those fabrics have not yet been introduced into our scrunchie range. So I have most of those fabrics here and some over there which I will be showing you guys in a second. But first up, let's get sorting through our autumn range and creating that list. So I've got a few of these containers with fabrics in them which we will be going through and selecting our winter and autumn patterned fabrics. Okay, most of this stuff is my kids prints from the fabric wall, some florals and satins so we won't be pulling out any from here. This is our selection. We've got some gingham in a dark navy. It looks like black, but it's actually a very, very dark navy. And then we've got that same pattern in a brown and a gray. We've got this new blue textured chiffon, which I haven't introduced yet into my scrunchies. So this is a new fabric which is very similar to this green one. This is more of a summery or transition fabric, but I am running low on this pattern, so I will need to stock up. This is a leopard print mustard, which is quite popular. This is also a new fabric, our black gingham. The checks are quite large, so I might turn this one into XLs. And we'll test out how it looks in some regular size scrunchies as well. This lilac pattern is also new. I haven't made scrunchies in this yet. But it is a thick knit stretch fabric. So we'll see how much fabric we have of this. And we might make some regular size scrunchies with what we've got. We've also got this floral in some grey tones together it could work as an autumn transition fabric this fabric is definitely an autumn winter fabric i had this in last year's winter collection and it was one of the popular ones it is a chiffon fabric so it's a little sheer and we'll be definitely making this fabric and probably focusing on extra larges for this one so these two fabrics are chiffons as well. I've got a grey and this neutral beigey colour. It's looking a little yellow on camera, but it is sort of a pinky beigey nude in colour. So I had this one last year, which was one of the favourites. And I haven't introduced this one yet. So this is also a new pattern that we will be introducing into our winter scrunchie range. So that is our fabric selection for today. So let's get cutting these. Actually, first up, I will need to make a list of what I want to make and how many. So which ones are XLs and which ones I want to turn into regular sizes. And then we will start cutting.
Okay guys, that's my quick list. So I'm gonna organize these fabrics and then we're gonna get cutting. This side of the mat I usually use for filming, so I'm gonna flip it over to the other side.
it guys that's all our scrunchies cut up in our winter fabrics so each strip will give me two scrunchies so i still got to cut them in half each strip makes two scrunchies um, so I'll split them into two piles as well so these are most of the excels which I'll be sewing using the tube method and then these ones I'll be sewing using the burrito method so we'll start off with these then we'll move on to these and get the tags in
Okay, so the first step in sewing has been done. So these are all the scrunchies I listed in my notebook earlier. So now I'm just going to cut these all apart and then sort them into piles. So the burrito method pile and then the tube method pile. So that's our two piles, our burrito method and then our tube method. They've all been cut and separated. So now we're going to move on to the next part of sewing.
it's the next day my battery ended up dying yesterday but you guys didn't miss much we were sewing the scrunchies in with the burrito method into these tubes so i've just continued with that today and these are all of them all sewn up we did yesterday afternoon actually get our biggest sale on spot on shopify it was an item with 13 orders so we were very excited about that I've packaged that up this morning and I filmed a little short for it so that should be up by the time I upload this video. But now we're going to get to flipping all these inside out, well the right way out, um, into the tubes and then we'll get elasticating them.
just finished up trimming all the threads on the scrunchies and fixing them up so these are now all ready and prepped for our markets so these are our winter scrunchies which will be in addition to our autumn range which I have already made up and still have some stock left over so those scrunchies coupled with our other market stock so our Saturn scrunchies and our kids print scrunchies I will be having a lot more than this available for our upcoming markets. But for now, our scrunchie prep for our upcoming markets is now done. Um, we have also introduced some new prints to our range. I will be spending the rest of the day photographing our new fabrics for our website. So this one here, this baby blue gingham is new. This baby lilac is also new. Um, this 
grey polka dot is new and is similar to this beige nude polka dot which we already have available the other new one is this autumn blue grey floral and this as well this black large gingham check is also new so i will be photographing those editing the photos and then getting them uploaded to our shopify website so they are ready for you guys that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching us prep for our upcoming markets our next video in our lineup of market prep videos we will be launching a new product line to our business so we will be unboxing them and organizing and designing the packaging for those products and then arranging and organizing our market display for them as well. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you get a notification for when I upload that video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.